Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome! How's it going tonight, everyone? Brew, brew, brew the deck, the newly modded brew, brew, brew the deck. Dragon Vulture, how goes it tonight? Jaguar, Looney, Cathalora, Helichrome, what's up tonight, everyone? Oh, man, I am so excited. We get to play Panharmonicon. It's been, like, a couple weeks at least. I think longer than that, actually. Commander Crossing, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. What's up, Zeno? Zenoa? Mikelski, Jay Zoller, two years and two months. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you so much, Jay Zoller. Go open your iconic masters boxes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Big Scoops here for our resubscriber. What's up, Jonathan and Jonathan and I Punk's not dead. Oi, Punk's not dead. <laughs> How's it going this evening, everyone? Oh, uh, yes. So it's been a crazy time in the magic world. It's, oh my goodness. I do not know what Wizards is doing. Iconic Masters, released on Friday. Esco, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. And Comrade Condor, welcome you as well. Big Scoops here for our new subscribers. So, yeah. Iconic Masters Friday, Rough Drafts hopefully coming on Thursday. We have Unstable Spoilers coming hot and heavy, and then for no reason, Wizards spoiling some cards from Rivals of Ixalan. So these are actually legal. What's up, Admiral Average? It's coming soon, I think... Uh, Galta was earlier, Silvergill was earlier, but Storm the Vault is new, flips around into, uh, just a Telerian Academy. I don't know if this card's actually good, but man, we're gonna play it. It seems so much fun. I wanna play it with Paradoxical Outcome and Aetherflux Reservoir in that deck. It seems insane in that deck. Uh, Mikresh, Mikreshenshio, something like that. Also, Tetsamok, new Elder, I was going to say Dragon, Elder Dinosaur seems really powerful, like a Plague Wind Dinosaur. Immortal Sun, not sure about standard for that one, but like the ultimate commander card, it does so many things and it draws cards. So, Rivals is looking sweet, it's still a long way away, but I'm super excited. It's just been, it's been super crazy. Yes, budget Telerian Academy for Commander seems really nice. So, I don't know. It's been a crazy week, but I'm excited. We have some super sweet Panharmonicon action tonight. So, anyway, let's do reminders. Talk about what we're playing tonight. Infinite Thopter Panharmonicon. This isn't any old Panharmonicon deck. We have a very specific purpose. One of the things I realized, World Slayer Guy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, I have no idea what Urza does. That's one of the craziest spoilers I think we've ever had. Yeah, it's like a Telerian Academy and also a City of Brass that doesn't cost life, which is just insane. So, one of the things I realized about Panharmonicon is we time out a lot when we play Panharmonicon. So, I'm hoping that Infinite Thopters solves the timeout problem and we're just going to be able to win quicker and not actually time out. What's up, Zara? Good to see you. So, anyway, let's do our reminders. Of course, M. TG Goldfish Replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams, including this stream, in the future. On the normal YouTube, we'll be wrapping up our unstable coverage tomorrow. We have a super sweet Against the Odds. So last week's Against the Odds poll came down to Gods. Uh, it was a five-color tribal poll. Gods versus Zubera. And Zubera, each of those tribes got like over 1,300 votes, I believe. And Zubera won by four Four points out of 1,300 votes. So we're playing Zubera, and I was skeptical going into it, but oh my god, the deck is actually super sweet. So make sure to check that out tomorrow on the YouTube channel. It's it's a fun one. I'm super excited for that one. Also, the merch page, as we talked about last week, got the new Jace, uh, Jace Scoops Blue that looks a little bit like Jace. Uh, deck boxes and sleeves, so if you're looking for some uh, holiday gifts or whatever, keep an eye out for that. A great way to support the stream and the channel and the site and of course donations available down below oh yes uh commander 2017 coming soon they are on moto commander clash episodes will be coming soon also important announcement thursday is thanksgiving here in the u.s so no stream on thursday i gotta see relatives and eat turkey and do all that stuff so no stream on thursday this will be the only stream of the week but we'll be back next tuesday with another one after this so let's talk 
Thopter Panharmonicon. Grixis Thopter Panharmonicon. So what inspired me to build this deck is someone played a decoction module Whirler Virtuoso deck, uh, I think last weekend at the GP. So the idea here, decoction module makes it so whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you get an energy. Whirler Virtuoso lets you pay three energy to make a 1-1 Thopter, which is a creature. So if you can get three copies of decoction module on the battlefield along with a whirl of virtuoso you can just make infinite thopters you make a thopter you get back to three energy you make a thopter get the three energy keep going keep going keep going until you eventually just kill your opponent with thopters i realize though that we don't actually need three decoction modules even better is panharmonicon if we have panharmonicon and a decoction module or two panharmonicons and decoction module we can do the same combo except we have an actual like real magic card that does really cool things so we are playing the combo the infinite thopter combo but since we can use panharmonicon as a combo piece we get to play a sweet panharmonicon shell so we got champion of wits great with panharmonicon especially when eternalized we got gantis and hostage takers doubling up panharmonicon scarab god kind of a backup finisher to get our stuff back from the graveyard counterband kingpin looks pretty weird admittedly looks super weird but it's a good blocker on the early game this is basically where we might play like gifted etherborn but it's a good blocker it has lifelink it works well with our thopter plan we can make thopters to scry or even double scry if we have the panharmonicon out which is our way we can dig through our deck to find our missing combo piece to actually go infinite otherwise fatal pushes harness lightnings and an abrade are our removal spells kaizel freebooter just a two of a little more panharmonicon value good disruptive spell and that's basically the pan plan of the deck so we're a panharmonicon deck but 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 we're hoping to add actually go to go infinite and be able to close out the game a little bit faster instead of having our timeout issues mana base pretty basic one scavenger grounds one field of ruin otherwise just dual lands and basic lands sideboard also pretty straightforward duresses and negates for spell decks also lost legacy to deal primarily with approach of the second sons but can come in other places as well uh bound to the last reckoning Veraska's Contempt, Essence, Essence Extraction for Aggro, a Braid for Aggro, also for God Pharaoh's Gift, Confiscation Goo to Steal Scarab Gods and Hazara, and a River's Rebuke just for value. I wish we could play Blood Moon, but it's not legal and standard, so that's what we're battling with tonight. Hopefully making some infinite Thopters with Panharmonicon, and I'm super excited for this deck. It combines so many things I love. We can go infinite, which is great. We also have Panharmonicon and can just draw a ton of cards, which is also great, so there's... It's just, like, perfect in every way. It combines everything that I love about, about Panharmonicon and about combos all in one. What am I going to do when Panharmonicon rotates? Well, I'm hopeful that by the time Panharmonicon rotates, I'll probably have another pet card. Like, we have went through this before. It was... Oh, no, I can't think of the name of it. The, the mill enchantment, the three mana mill enchantment that milled whenever you drew a card. Back in the early days of when I was making videos, that was, that was uh, definitely my pet card. Swooping Hog, I don't know why it didn't pop up. It might pop up in a minute. Sometimes there's this weird Twitch delay. Yes, Sphinx is tutelage. Thank you very much. Swooping Hog, welcome you to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber, and Tony V, welcome you as well. Big Scoops here for you too. I considered playing one Gonti's Aetherheart. I decided against it. I felt like with the, oh, I didn't mention either. Decoction module is also super sweet with our Panharmonicon creatures because it has a hidden second mode that doesn't make energy. Uh, we don't have it in hand, but it has a hidden second mode where we can pay for and bounce one of our creatures. So that seems absurd in the late day game with Hostage Shakers, with Gontis, with creatures like that, because we just keep picking them up and replaying them to get even more Panharmonicon triggers. So I don't know. I'm super excited. We Maybe we'll go 04 or 05 or whatever, but oh man, I think we're going to do sweet things. I'm hopeful that we do sweet things. Uh, we'll keep this. Counterband Kingpin, one more land for Panharmonicon, double up a Gonti. Oh, uh, Sphinx's Tutelage was so much fun. It was like the perfect payoff card for me because all you had to do was... All you had to do was draw cards. You just played that and then drew cards and you won. What could be... 
What could be better than that? <laughs> also, Part the Water Veil was kind of my next pet card. So I'm sure by the time that Panharmonicon rotates, we'll, uh, we'll definitely have another card on the list. Will fairies ever see a revival? I think there's a chance. So the first Commander 2017 episode of Commander Clash is actually just going to be the pre-constructed decks. So you could probably guess which one I picked. I got the one that I wanted. So what Commander 2017 pre-con do you think I wanted? Schmitty, 7326 for the second month in a row. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Says, thanks for the great content. I wish I could catch the stream more. Thank goodness for the replay, YouTube. Well, thank you so much for the resub, Schmitty. Definitely appreciate it. Big Scoops here for our resubscriber. Yes, it was Wizards. That was the one. Uh, that was the one I wanted. That was the one I got. Unstable is not coming online, although uh, Keefstrophy. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Oh, I wish we had Red Mana. Red Mana would make me slightly happy. A little worried about like a Rish car or something making this huge. That would, that would go poorly. Do you have any plan for a change of coverage on Goldfish when Arena gets released? Well, I think we'll play it by ear a little bit and see what it looks like. But if Arena if videos are more popular than Moto videos, then we will probably be using Arena for, for a lot of stuff. For standard, at least. We can't really do it for older formats at this point, but I think we'd see a lot of standard videos. Well, we're going to block here. If our opponent wants to cash in Walking Ballista... Huh? One blue? Are they going to Fatal Push? There's a Fatal Push. Ugh, not ideal. Not ideal. This situation is not ideal with no red mana. Decoction Module. Still no red mana. Can we even afford to... Panharmonicon. I think we just got a Gonti. Yeah, let's Gonti. I don't think we can take the turn off for Panharmonicon. Arena, as far as we know, at least for the immediate future, I think we take a tune so we can get a red source. Pass the turn. Yeah, Gonti b dies to Ballista, but it does make our opponent spend their entire turn putting counters on Ballista if they want to go that direction. Or they have Rishkar. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is this is very bad. I think we're just going to die. I don't believe Arena is going to have any formats except for Standard and Limited for the foreseeable future. Are the new Goldfish Sleeves sold already sold out they're no longer listed on the merch page if so when they will be when will they be available again i will have to ask richard about that because i am actually not a hundred percent sure i hadn't heard that they were sold out but that doesn't mean that they aren't and that i didn't hear about it well there's our red mana <sighs> bad 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 so we can attune decoction module and Harness Lightning, I guess? So let's attune. Get a Mountain. Oh, we got... We have combo pieces. I don't know if we live long enough to do it, though. So we played the Coction Module... Play the mountain. Maybe we just kill this right now. That's probably our best bet. Just kill Winding Constrictor. Spend all of our energy. Pass the turn. I mean, we're close. We're close. We, we're close. Our opponent still has threats, though. There's a Long Tusk Cub. The Walking Blist is a big problem here. What's up, Verma MX? How goes it tonight? Pony gets in for three, down to ten. Another, well, play Dragon Skull Summit. I guess we just double Whirler? Play Whirler Virtue. Does this keep us alive? 
Play Whirler Virtuoso. Get four energy, thanks to Decoction Module. So right now, we're not going infinite, but all of our Thopters are coming at a discount. So they're essentially two energy instead of three energy. Play Whirler Virtuoso. We're putting up some defense. What's your question, uh, TPD01? So get some more energy. <laughs> Are you mad about my pronouncing of uh, of Phoebe? <laughs> uh, that wasn't written like Phoebe. That was written like Phoebe. Um, let's just make a Thopter and Chump. I think this is safer. Man, we are super close to going infinite. We can go like half infinite next turn. We might be doing it. We might we might be doing it. We block. Opponent passes. Well, we're going for it. We are going for it. Panharmonicon. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, we're so close. We are so close to going infinite already. We will pass the turn. Right now, we can make six Thopters. Opponent's gonna start pumping the Ballista. We need one we need one more piece. We need one more Panharmonicon or Decoction module. And we go truly infinite. Alright, winding constrictor. Yup. You gonna attack us? Oh, you bring it, opponent. You bring it. We are going to thop you like crazy. So we make a thopter, double triggers decoction module. We will just always yield. So we spend one energy, get a thopter. One energy, get a thopter. <laughs> uh, we'll spend an energy. Get a thopter. Spend an energy. Paladin, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops tier for our new subscriber. And yeah, let's go big blocks. Hopefully this doesn't end badly. I thought about Aganti's Etherhar. I decided against it at the last minute, but I think it could work. A chunk of battle. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. But yeah, I considered using uh, using Aganti's Aetherheart. Sergeant Shenanigans, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Made a few changes to the Necrotic Ooze instant deck tech. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. TPD, thank you as well. I think I thanked you earlier. Opponent pumps, opponent pumps. Opponent kills. Cash in that ballista. Ugh. All right, opponent survives. We draw, kingpin. Well, that's not the worst. So we get to play counterband kingpin, get some energy, and this will let us scry as we thop. So play another whirler virtuoso. We will get a bunch of triggers. So we're not going infinite, but we're up to 12 energy. Oh, man. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, man. I felt like Word of Invention was only good after we had our combo going. I didn't feel like it was good beforehand. Now I think we Thop Scry to try to find... Our missing combo piece to go... There it is. That's Panharmonicon. All right. Infinite. We have went infinite. It has happened. One game. It took all of one game to go infinite. Another Panharmonicon. <laughs> yes. 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 Contraband. Counterband. Pretty much the same thing. Oh, man. We are thopping our opponent into oblivion. 
All right, scry to the bottom. Scry to the bottom. The scrying part's gonna. We'll keep harness lightning. All right, so we'll just pat. We'll get in with our thopter. So now we have infinite thopters <laughs> in our opponent. Oh man, right off the bat. Pass the turn. Opponent, you got an answer? You got a plan? Are you going to put a counter on your ballista? All right. Well, let's... Well, yeah, let's do it while your opponent's tapped out. Thepes, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Uh, okay, top. The scrying is going to get annoying. That's the annoying part. Why don't they auto stack? Oh man, timing out is a concern. Maybe the counterban kingpin was a bad idea. <laughs> oh no! The clicks! I wish I could just. Oh, I wish I could just auto top with counterban kingpin. That would make me so happy. All this work, so far we've made three thopters. Our opponent's not interested in scooping at the moment. Glitness Crane could be a good a good addition. We also have infinite energy. Not that we really have a, a payoff for it, but... Oh, well, I guess Whirler Virtuoso is the payoff for infinite energy. The exclamation points just mean that I yielded to the ability, so it goes a little bit faster. Good news is opponents cannot see them. We gotta make enough that they're lethal, which means many more. Many more thops. Come on, Whirler Virtuoso. I think we're getting faster at it. Put on top. Put on top. Put on top. I don't think our opponent can disrupt this, so let's just pass. Maybe our opponent will scoop. If our opponent doesn't scoop, we can do this on our end step. What card do you miss, uh, Lee Chimney Shongas? Yeah, Moto likes us to look at the card. <laughs> well, mission achieved. I don't know if the this will speed things up plan worked, but infinite thopters, like this is exactly how we drew it up. Metalwork Colossus is pretty sweet. I have not seen much Metalwork Colossus lately. Yeah, if we get to untap, we probably will just bounce Kingpin. Because if we didn't have Kingpin, the combo would go super fast. It would be lightning speed. But we can't bounce it yet. And we got to make the Thopters to win here. I guess it is a nice upside is we can get rid of our Kingpin. Is our opponent scooping? Yes, all right. Opponent scoops it up. Whoo! That was pretty good. So the combo is, uh, for those of you that are just coming in, so the combo is, Decoction Module makes an energy whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control. Panharmonicon doubles that up. It's basically just like another Decoction Module, as long as we have one Decoction Module. Then Whirler Virtuoso can make a 1-1 Thopter by paying three energy. So with three of this pile of cards on the battlefield, we can make infinite Thopters. Even with less than three, we can still make a lot of Thopters, which is often enough. But that's the main plan. Just uh, get three of these, get a Whirler Virtuoso, and we win. We have not timed out yet, but we won. We won our very first game. What do we want against Saltai Energy is the question. Um, hmm... I don't know how good counterban, contraban, counterban. I'm gonna keep saying counterban. Apparently, <laughs> we'll see. This is the first games I played with the deck. I just built it today. So, is it competitive? It's got a lot of cards that are powerful and I like. So, I think it's like at least semi-competitive. But we haven't actually played much of it yet. The nice thing about this deck is we can definitely win without the combo. Like, the combo is awesome, but we can also just win with Panharmonicon value. So it's not like we need the combo to win, although the combo is pretty pretty helpful. So bring in the Abrades. Maybe we go down the Freebooters do not seem insane. Anything else? Uh, oh, let me see, Miss A. Benditos. 
Oh, I think the deck list is on private. It said I uh, couldn't actually see it. It sounds sweet, though. I do like Scarab God. Scarab God is just almost too powerful to not play, I think, is where I'm at with Scarab God. Like, if you're in the colors, it's really hard to say no to it because it's just so strong. Um, we got to cut one more of something. We might not need both the braids. Maybe leave the freebooters. We'll just bring in one of braid. I think with the harness lightnings, two of braids and two fatal pushes, that gives us a lot of answers to the early game stuff. I don't think we want a Lost Legacy against this deck. Ugh. Ugh. This hand's about as good as it gets. Or the opposite of that. As bad as it gets. <laughs> uh, okay. This is fine as long as we hit a land. Hostage Taker to the bottom. If we get to Champion of Wits, this is fine. Yeah, Scarab God definitely is not a budget-friendly card. Drown Catacombs, pass the turn. I think the six is pretty alright. We can kill a Long Tusk Cub, which is good, or a Winding Constrictor, also good. All right, it's Winding Constrictor. Land? Oh, so many Champion of Wits, but we need a land to get to them. Kill Constrictor. And kill... Yeah, no energy, but we get rid of it. <laughs> the Foil Hostage Shaker was actually cheaper, which is why we have it. Come on, land! Ugh, all right. It is a land. It's a bit of a slow land, but it is a land. Freebooter. We get a peek at least, even if they kill it. Wow, they did not kill it. All right. So take Fatal Push. Ponent's hand is Rishkar Siphoner Cub. Play Canyon Slew. Pass the turn. Well, Hostage Shaker seems like it could be reasonable against this. What do I want to see in Rivals? The number one thing I want from Rivals is... Enough support that the tribes are playable in standard. Like, actually playable. Favorite three color combination. Something with blue and black, most likely. Grixis, Esper, something along those lines. Hmm. Do we champion of wits? Or do we just hostage taker? We get Hostage Taker this cub? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just Hostage Taker. They didn't have removal in hand, and this definitely slows down the beats because we get rid of the cub. And get in with Freebooter. Hopefully, if we get to untap Cast Cub after Champion of Witzing, that would be spectacular. No, no, more support for the tribes. I think the thing I want most is enough support that the tribes are playable. Like dinosaurs and pirates in specific. Ponet, beaten in, sure. Down to 14. Dragon Skull Summit's not bad. Let's... Hmm. Let's just play the cub to be safe. Play Summit. Play a Champion of Wits. Yes, please. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just discard two Champion of Wits. We're actually pretty close to just getting back our Champion of Wits. Get in with Kite Sail. Oh, man, this, this might be working. What do I want to see in Masters 25? That's a better question. I don't have a good answer to that. I hope it's... I hope it's not just a Modern Masters. I hope it has some stuff from older sets in it as well. Opponent draws a card, cycles a land. Why would they print a burn spell that does exactly 22 seven, seven, uh, over 7 of damage? It's unstable. It's a crazy world. You never know in unstable. Alright, let me see Miss A. Bandado. Opponent... Goes attacking. 
All right, we're just gonna double block this. And if our opponent has fatal, if they have fatal push, they get us. If they have blossoming defense, ooh boy, are we just in great shape? I cannot get your deck to. Oh, maybe it's because it says edit. I cannot get that deck to load for some reason, Miss A Benditos. Check out my Intruder Alarm Kiki combo deck. That sounds pretty spicy. Well, there's a module. Play module. Play an island. I guess we get in with Freebooter and pass the turn. I mean, next turn we get to get back a champion if we don't draw something better. Yup. Oh man, we are close to this working. Squarg, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop's here for our new subscriber. And now we actually have the, we kind of have the lock. We could just start bouncing our hostage takers and stealing a creature every turn. <laughs> Which sounds hilariously awesome. Opponent goes attacking. Let's double block Rishkar. So the reserve list is just a list of cards from old sets that Wizards has promised they will never, ever reprint. Ever for the rest of Magic's history, basically. Intruder Alarm combo looks sweet. Alright, well, I guess it's Champion of Wits time. Start refilling our hand. Getting some big threats. Also, decoctioning. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll draw. Get rid of Fetid Pools and Mountain. Oh, I wish we could Fatal Push this turn, but pass the turn. We can do some chumping here. Opponent gets to draw an extra card, unfortunately. What was the punt there? I'm very excited for the potential of Soul Sisters. N for the potential of Soul Sisters, now that, uh... Huh. I don't know why I can't see Deckless from Goldfish today. Oh, no! Jeez. Wow. Holy moly. Now we might be dead. Wow. Wow, disaster strikes. And now we I think we are just dead. Oh no. Oh. The punt was not bouncing his hostage taker. Then we wouldn't have killed the creature, though. Well, I guess we're not just just dead. One, two, three, four. So we can... Let's play Gonti. See what we hit. Get some energy. Bantu's Last Reckoning? Uh, hmm. We're playing some Infinite Thopter Panharmonicon. Yeah, I think that we had to focus on killing our opponent's stuff. I think that plan is pretty slow there. I think it's a cool plan, but I don't know if it actually would work there. What do we take here? Do we take anything? I guess we can take Blossoming Defense. Yeah. We gotta live. So we kill this... Thopter, we'd make two Thopters. 
I guess we take Blossoming Defense. Play Ether Hub. Get an energy. Play Whirler. Get some energy. And do we kill something now or just pass? I guess I guess we just pass. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about the possibility of Soul Sisters with the budget reprints. Ooh, I see the Necrotic Ooze deck now. It looks pretty sweet. It definitely uh it's got some cool additions. Ronas is a cool addition. Ether Hub for our opponent. Going to cast our Kite Sail Freebooter. Hmm. <laughs> Which I guess means we got a Fatal Push. Alright, 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 alright. Another siphoner. Oh, uh, so many cipher siphoners. Opponent. Well, make a thopter. Get an energy. Make a thopter. Get an energy. Ugh. Do we just have to block here, I guess? We're not dead. Let's block Rogue Refiner. Yup. Opponent passes. Jeez. Panharmonicon. I think we got a way to turn on Panharmonicon. And get back champion? I guess we should leave up the Ether Hub. Jade Smash, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Bouncing Whirler doesn't... I don't think that's good enough, is it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I think we just do this. Champion of Wits gets an energy, lets us draw and discard. Yes. There's our modules. Oh, goodness. We have to discard two cards. Oh, no. Can we? Oh, we're so close. Erratic Arsonist, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Do we need the Whirler, though? I guess not. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right. We'll discard Whirler and Pan. Do we just have to kill Glint Sleeve right now? That costs us an energy. Yeah, I think we have to. Make a Thopter. Because if they draw Walking Ballista, we're just literally dead. Fatal Push Siphoner. 
Pass the turn, hope they don't draw Walking Ballista. We're pretty close to going infinite. But we're pretty dead if they top deck Walking Ballista. Opponent. Big attack. Big attack. Huge attack. Well, block here. Block here. Block here. Block here. Oh, man. Is there a chance we're going to sneak this out? Oh, uh, let me see, Cryptic Hulu. So do some blocking. Kill some stuff. We lose some stuff. No walking ballistas. Opponent passes. Oh, my God. Module. Wow, we go infinite, but they could they beat us if they draw if they draw a walking ballista this exact turn. Whirler. So we got the combo. Alright. And I guess we do some attacking. Well, hopefully they don't draw it. Come on, no draws. No draws. No ballista this turn. The artifact is decoction module. Let me see, Bufficate. Come on, land. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well, it is infinite Thopter time. And this combo is going to be much quicker since we don't have that two drop on the battlefield. Make some Thopters. We will make some Thopters. We will make some Thopters. Whoo, with no scrying. This goes super fast. This is what we are hoping for to speed up the combo. Let's Thopter. Uh, more Thopters. We can never have too many. Thopters. 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 Fab dude for the eighth month in a row. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Uh, modern and vintage for against the odds. That could be an interesting episode. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. So we'll make a few Thopters and we will block with as many Thopters as possible. Can we block all? That's not an option, is it? Nope. All right, block, block. I don't think they would have anything that, like, tramples or whatever, but you never know. There's no reason not to do this. Like, the only way we could lose would be something that gave this trample and pumped it. So there's there's just no reason not to block with everything, except for how annoyingly time-consuming this is. All right, almost there. The Wall of Thopters. All right, Thopter Wall. Gonna play Storm the Vault as an against the odds card. Yeah, I'm super excited. And we got the GG's. Infinite Thopters twice in a row against Salty Energy to start things off. That was that was how we drew it up. That is exactly it. They did not top deck the Walking Ballista. We could take down an Emrakul. The Thopters take down Emrakuls. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. That was so sweet. And uh, opponent passes. We untap Ether Hub. Not relevant. Attack with everything. And that should be the game, boys and girls. That should be the game. Any software recommend uh, you recommend for making videos from streams? Just starting stream magic. Want to know uh, to follow your footsteps into YouTube? So I just use Lightworks for my video editing. That's the. It's free, and it's pretty easy to pick up. I don't think it's the best. Hey, thank you for the cheer. And we got there. Up to 0-1 with the Infinite Thopters. So that is that is awesome. Uh, that actually kind of worked. Five Color Slivers could be a sweet stream deck. I think I, I am down for that. Important question bothered me for a long time. Why you never consider opponents to punt? This is not related to... Uh-oh, where'd the question go? to this match but in general then you are er early scooping and we are yelling at you yes i maybe do scoop early sometimes although ah, i don't know rd4949 welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big scoops here for our new subscriber trying to get my girlfriend into magic going to build her modern deck building eight whack for her but i want to know if you suggest a different deck i think eight whack is a great first time deck that's also competitive enough to play f &Ms and stuff so i think it's a really a really solid first time deck that's a really good choice 
it's fun, it's tribal, it's not too hard to pick up, but still has enough going on that it's, uh... Ooh. That it's, that it'll take her a little while to master it. There's enough interactions that it's not just, like, I don't know, a mindless deck. So I think that's a great option. Modern Aggro Slivers with Unclaimed Territory. Looks pretty sweet. Ooh, Leeching Sliver? That's a spicy sliver. It's kind of like a two-mana Hellrider sliver. It looks fun. Alright. It didn't let me do a custom message to resub, but I'm in for another month. Amulet. Well, Great Germ, I don't know why I didn't let you do a message. That's weird, but thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big Soup's here for Art New Subscriber. We'll give this a shot. This seems reasonable enough. Uh-oh. Mirror match? Someone else going infinite with Panharmonicons and Thopters? <laughs> uh, Dragons go sub it go. Whatever happened to playing Pauper? The people demand more Pauper content. Oh, man, this is a Thopter deck. <laughs> it really is happening. Oh, we have Scarab God, though. Um, hmm. Don't really want our opponents to start making Thopters. Fangrim, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for Art New Subscriber. Yeah, let's just Fatal Push this. And play a land, pass the turn. Ball Bags with a $5 donation, which I'm about to read. One second. I gotta pull it up here so I can uh, read it on on the website. Five dollar donation from Bullbags. Thank you so much. One awesome deck set. I love it with Commander 2017 being released on the 15th for Moto. Is there going to be Commander Clash with those decks coming up? There is. Commander Clash is gonna have two episodes featuring those decks. At least two episodes. There's gonna be one episode that is. Just literally the pre-constructed decks. And then there's going to be another episode, which will be more like upgraded or build around the commander. So it is definitely happening. Thank you again for the donation. Uh, playing Popper, Jake retired. That's the big thing with playing Popper, And we just haven't really managed to bring it back yet. Mono Black Discard looks sweet. Opponent. Man, Ether Swooper dot hand. Our opponent is just insisting to... Make a Thopter one of these times. Removal to kill the third one. Can we keep it going? <laughs> uh, that is removal. All right, let's keep let's keep killing it. A Brager Swooper, play a Swamp, and yeah, let's Freebooter. That's probably better. Free Jam Regent and two lands. All right, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in pretty good shape. MTG Oak Art. Chef, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Similar to XXX Stompy. Ooh. I gotta check this out. Would wizards ever rever uh insert repurchase reserve list cards? That happened once in the history of magic. Uh it happened with original Zendikar. There were priceless treasures, which were original printings of cards, including reserve list cards. So I guess it's not impossible that it could happen again. Well, that's a Panharmonicon, which means we play a Panharmonicon, get in with our Freebooter. Favorite deck in the meta? Oh, man. Out of, like, the tier decks, probably God Pharaoh's Gift, but... I really like Scarab God decks. Like, Blue Black Scarab God still might be my favorite. Hmm. Well, I guess we just... Well, we can't even... Maybe we wait on Hostage Taker? What do we do here? We can Counterband Kingpin Scry. If we steal it... Our opponent can kill it because we can't cast it. I guess if we draw a land, we can cast it next turn. All right, let's steal it. Hostage Shaker, we get to actually double steal it. 
I guess we could have taken hostage our own freebooter. I don't know if that's really necessary, though. Get in. Hit our opponent. I think that there's an argument for a tune being banned. I'm willing to wait until after... And our opponent scoops it up! Woo! Maybe we just broke the format with uh, Infinite Thopter Panharmonicon. Yikes! What do you think about Cataclysmic Gearhoff in blue-white gifts? It's something to grab with refurbish if you don't have a gift in the graveyard. I think it's reasonable. I know older versions of gifts used to play it. So I think it's possible that it could make a comeback. It seems good in certain matchups against tokens and whatnot. Although, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a sideboard card? It does hurt some of your stuff. We might actually finish the stream in a timely manner. I was thinking this might be one of our marathon streams. Oh, man. Also, exciting stuff coming in December. There is a... Super special Commander Clash episode, which is going to be awesome. And uh, maybe a, a special stream as well. We'll see. We'll see. I might uh, might see about sneaking into one of the streamer showdown things that Wizards does. We broke it. We broke it. Uh, all right. Quick 30-second break while we're sideboarding. We forgot to do the break before round one. Be right back with uh, second game of round number two. And we're back. Even bringing Cataclysmic with God Pharaoh's Gift, you can keep your gift and destroy your champions and get them back for gift value. Yeah, it could work. So, uh, yeah, there was supposed to be an ad. I don't know what Twitch does. Sometimes the ads don't actually actually work. Uh, should we be doing anything else with the sideboard, everyone? What else should we be doing? Anything? Just run it like this? So far, we brought in one Abraid... Went down the Freebooters. Also brought in one, uh, the third Vraska's Contempt. All right. Let's run it like that. That seems... Mary Poppins the Musical? That's a thing? Huh. Maybe I gotta watch more ads. <laughs> uh, what do I use for a mic when recording? I use a... Let me see what this says. Uh, plan, plant Plantronic. Gamecom, Plantronics Gamecom 788 headset. I also use a Blue Yeti for the podcast. I use a headset for anything I'm doing by myself, so videos and streams. But then sometimes I get an echo if I'm doing things like the podcast, so I use a different mic for the podcast. I don't know. I just got lucky uh, to find this headset, and actually the quality is surprisingly good. When I first... I had a really horrible headset when I started recording and doing videos. Uh, so I wanted to upgrade, and I found a headset that was like a $100 headset, but it was refurbished for like $25 or something. I was like, oh, man, that sounds like a good deal. Maybe oh, dear. Dream dying. Dream dying. Was hoping we'd draw land here. But I just lucked into it, and it was, uh, was, pretty, was pretty excellent. Was I saying Phoebe weird? Huh. Opponent gets in with Ether Chaser. Does not make an artifact. Well, if we draw a land here, life is good. If we whiff on lands, I'm a little scared. Opponent. Ooh, opponent's Whirlering. Quella Calcul. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Did you think this is an Artificer deck? You Oh, do you think this is the Artificer deck? It might be. I've seen... Oh, it is a land. In theory, that is a land. It is not the land we were hoping for, but it is a land. It does not let us champion of wits. I work for the Street Cleaner. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. 
Yeah, I think this is the Craig Wesco list that we did a deck tech on. Pretty sure. At least it looks very similar to it. If it's not exactly it, it's close. I went back li recently and listened to the Goldfish podcast when it released, and yeah, we've definitely come a long way with figuring out how to make a podcast. I think maybe Chaz had done, done some kind of podcast before, but for the most part, none of us had ever done a podcast before, so we were just kind of learning as we went with the whole process. Maybe we should have brought in Bantu's Last Reckoning. I think bringing back breakfast cereal names would be sweet, but there's a lot of controversy when you name decks unique things. Sometimes you get yelled at. Yeah, we should have probably brought in Bantu's Last Reckoning. Oh, Chaz. Chaz and his unique opinions. Ether Hub. Hmm. What is our pathway out of this? Have we seen black? Uh, well, play Ether Hub. So we can kill something, maybe. We can Whirler Virtuoso, make one Thopter, try to block this thing. Rushing Sheep, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Eminent Doom and Solemnity to lock one and two counters, then cast all one and two drops. That actually sounds pretty fun. It seems like it would be hard to get the situation exactly right for it, but I like the idea of it. Just Gonti. Then we're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, six. It's also costing us an energy. I guess that doesn't matter. All right, we'll Gonti. Maybe our opponent has sweepers in their deck or something. That would make life easier if they had a Sweltering Suns in their deck. They probably don't, but. Maverick Thopterist, Whirler Virtuoso. Well, I guess we take Thopterist. That's a way to put a lot of bodies on the battlefield if we find a land. Not feeling very confident about where we're at right now. Favorite magic card? Probably Blood Moon. It's at least on the list. There's the Harness Lightning. Yeah, our opponent's just been able to deploy their hand, and we have not. So we're taking... Yeah, I think we're just literally dead now. Cannot play lands with Gandhi, unfortunately. What do you think of the rising blue-white control in modern metagame? Ah, uh, I think it's a decent deck. It's hard to beat everyone, but control can be pretty decent in some matchups. Alright, opponent. It hits us to six. We draw a swamp. So we can... Chump, block, block. I guess we live a turn. Maybe, maybe live a turn. I mean, I think this is all we can do. There's the Thopterus. Uh, yes, I do, Psychomancer. More removal? Ugh. Oh, dear. Yeah, now we're dead dead. All right. Well, opponent went super wide. Man, those... Okay. Okay, super wide. Be prepared for that. Yeah, stuff would have got sweet if we... If we... Uh, our hand was just too slow, I guess. So what do we, do we want to bring in the Reckonings? Also, River's Rebuke is kind of funnily good, maybe. Reckoning's faster, though. Maybe we go down a Gonti, seems a little slow. And maybe Veraska's Contempt is wrong. Maybe we just want more early removal and stick with the two Veraska's Contempts. River's Rebuke is pretty sweet. I don't know what we go down for it, though. 
Yeah, I guess our harness lightnings can kill their big flyers. All right, we'll go down the contempts. We'll go up the two rass and the rivers rebuke. <laughs> That's a good gotcha card. That's a good gotcha. Not really sold on freebooter. Kind of in this matchup. Kingpin seems like a decent blocker. Oh, send me uh, send me your Nehab list, Jace, uh, Jash Smasher. I know I have a bunch of lists to check out in my mailbox. All right. Well, we're going to try this. Double Fatal Push is good. River's Rebuke is our late game payoff. We got to hope that we hit lands and get up there. Kiki use. Kiki use is looking uh, pretty sweet. Well, Whirler Virtuoso is a good mid game card if we get one more land. Drown Catacombs, Ponet, Swooper. Well, we are going to swoop you. Kill the Swooper. I like the Kiki use deck. That is super spicy. Civilized Scholar. Come on, land. Land, land, land. Land? Alright, there's a land. That is excellent. So now we get down Whirler Virtuoso. And now we're one land away from starting to play Panharmonicons, which would be sweet for the late game if we get there. Alright, staying alive. Scrappy Scrounger. Land? Please? Alright, it's a tapped land. Well, past the turn. I don't really just want to kill Scrap Heap Scrounger. That doesn't feel ideal. Opponent. Mountain. It's in. We'll take three for now. Hits us. Sure. What do you think of the Pirate God in this meta, or does Saltai Energy take its place? Saltai Energy is similar, but I think the Pirate God deck is uh, still a solid option. All right. We're going to Fatal Push Ether Chaser. Opponent could have a Braids for our Panharmonicon. Land? Ooh. We might actually cast a River's Rebuke, which is pretty interesting. Panharmonicon. Come on, value for our Panharmonicon. The Civilized Scholar plus any dredge creature lets ooze infinitely dredge. Oh, that's super sweet. Let's get in with our Whirler Virtuoso. And pass the turn. Panharmonicon one down. We need something to go with it. We need something to go with our Panharmonicon. Panharmonicons. Oh, I have never resolved a River's Rebuke, but this might be this might be the time. Uh, another Scrounger. That's a lot of scrounging. Opponent gets in with Scrounger. Yeah, we take it. We're also out of cheap removal. Opponent passes. Something good? Harness Lightning. Well. Uh, let's play another Panharmonicon, I guess. I think. We might actually block with Whirler Virtuoso here, which feels really bad. Mean Mean Pork, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Well, I guess we're not blocking. Well, make a Thopter. Not a super helpful Thopter, but it is a Thopter. Yeah, Champion of Wits would be excellent. Hostage Shaker would be sweet. Well, Fast Engineer. Well, at this point, Land for Rivers Rebuke would buy us a bit of time. There's, here they come. Here comes the dorks. We're taking three, chumping with our Thopter, hoping for the best. Hostage Taker would be sweet. Arganti would be sweet. Well, there's Champion Awits. All right. Drawn Discard. Hmm. What are we trying to end up with in hand is the question. We can kill something with a braid. Oh, what is the plan? What is the plan? It's probably just going to be... Ugh. Ugh. All right. We need a plan. We need a plan. 
Yeah, champion was a huge draw. Discard Rivers Rebuke. And a braid. The question is, are we trying to get to a point where we're getting back this this champion? Well, let's discard land land for now and see what we draw. We did not hit much with those six draws. Not much at all. No Scarab Gods, no Champion of Wits. We gotta keep Harness Lightning. Uh, the question is, do we discard both... Both Kingpins and keep a land? One, two, three, four, five... I think we got to discard Kingpin Land. And then do we cast the Kingpin or do we just kill this Weldfast Engineer? Hmm. Well, we would like to get back this champion. Yeah, we'll kill the engineer. Pass the turn, see what we draw into. I was really hoping we'd hit into some more stuff for Panharmonicon. I guess the good news is we got rid of a lot of stuff we didn't want <laughs> in those draws. So I guess that's kind of okay. Uh, opponent with mono of braids. Good God. Yeah, opponent gets in. Hits us. We're getting close to dead. Down to five. Passes. Whirlers, a decent draw, I would say. Play Kingpin. Whew. This doesn't guarantee that we're good, but this helps. Whirler. If they can kill this in response, I'm going to cry. Whoo, all right, all right, all right. Whoo! Now we're in actually pretty okay shape. Because we can make three Fopters, which gives us three Scries, which is huge. I was afraid they were going to kill it with the with the triggers on the stack, but now we might be good. Pona plays a tap land. Goes attacking. Well, make a Thopter. Scry. Scry three. Fetid pool's bottom. What are we looking for with these Scries? We have infinite module. Do we just try to go infinite? Is that the plan? Just ch block, chump, play module, try to go infinite? All right. It's a combo. It's a combo. So we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Block, jump. Hopefully our opponent just taps out to play something. Opponent passes. Well, we drew. Ugh. All right, opponent. What do you have? What do you have, opponent? What do you have? What do you have? Module. Do we get there? Did we get it? Oh, opponent has negate. All right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. 
I mean, we would have liked that to resolve in just one. But that doesn't kill us. Opponent plays a land. Oh, that's okay. We get a, we still have a lot of scries. Weldfast Engineer. Okay. We still get a lot of scries. We're still not dead. Yep, there's Scarab God. Opponent goes attacking. So let's make a Thopter, do some scrying. We got more. We got more in our deck. Scry one, Scavenger Grounds, bottom. Scry two. Is this just good enough to keep? The Frozelette. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I mean, that's nine more energy. Yeah, I think we're going to just keep Whirler. All right, keep Whirler for now. Block here. Block here. Up to seven. Opponent passes. So play another Whirler. This scrying has worked really well. Oh my goodness. Why was our opponent not casting that if they had it in hand the whole time? All right. Pass the turn. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Oh, I guess we should have scryed again in response. Why were they not casting that? Yeah, we should have scryed one more time in response. Opponent goes attacking. Thopter. 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 Block, 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 block. Yeah, let's try it like that. Fire 80s, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I just, I couldn't believe our opponent actually had, wow, all right, this is, this is crazy, we draw some nothing, and pass the turn, all right, Uh, because we needed to spend energy to not die, I think is the short answer. Yeah, I'm just shocked because I don't know how our opponent, uh, was not casting these spells. They were just, uh, throwing their stuff into our lifelink creatures repeatedly. So I'm just, I can't believe that they had removal. Uh, no Eternalize because it costs seven mana and we only have six. We draw. Scarab God does not help us here, and we scoop it up. Wow. All right. Well, down to uh, one and one. Well, what was on top of our deck? Yeah, Hostage Taker eventually. Yeah, we definitely should have scryed there. I was just pretty much caught by surprise that I don't understand our opponent's play, I guess. Uh, I was just caught by surprise that they had anything in their hand at all, honestly. We'll keep this. So, let's play Spire Bluff, pass the turn. Uh, if we had drawn the Scarab God when we had our Thopters out, it just automatically would have won us the game. So that's how that's how the Scarab God works. It is absurdly good 
in some situations. Oh! What is our opponent doing? Abandon Sarcophagus, double cast out, Hollow Uncensor? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. This is a interesting build of the cycling deck. How do we deal with this? What do we even take? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they have Hollow One. I don't think we can take Sensor. Well, the problem is I don't know if we can beat this main deck. Yeah, we'll t I guess we'll take Sensor. The I don't know if we can beat our opponent's deck before sideboarding. We have tons of sideboarding stuff for Approach, but we don't have that much main deck stuff for Approach. All right, opponent plays land. Passes. Well, get in with Kite Sail. Another Freebooter is actually not the worst here. Let's play the land. Get down another freebooter they drew a land the problem is they get back all their stuff anyway is the main challenge of it well we'll take approach it is a very temporary solution to an approach because you got to assume our opponent's going to kill it before turn seven. Cycle's a hollowed one. There's a glacial fortress. Are they just going to place sarcophagus? They're just going to place sarcophagus. Fatal push, not super helpful. Well, play a land. And we're going to play Panharmonicon and force our opponent to have drawn land in cast a cast out main phase or cast a cast out. Opponent did draw the land. Ugh. Opponent, you and your land drawing skills. They are legendary. Well, let's run out our, whoa, champion of wits. I'm sure our opponent's going to kill it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's possible we just race approach. Does not seem super likely in game one. Wow. They let it resolve. I am shocked. Discard Fatal Push. Discard Kingpin. Not very helpful, this matchup. Discard Kingpin. Discard Kingpin. Play a tap land. Do some attacking. Maybe we can just approach them with our Gonti. That would be sweet. <laughs> Gonti's awesome if our Panharmonicon lives. I guess it's decent either way. I'm surprised they let us double champion Awits. Cycles. Wow, they just don't care about our Panharmonicon? They just don't care. I guess they want to cycle it and cast it from the graveyard. There's a cast out. And a cast out. Plays a land. Opponent passing. Well, let's go attacking. See what our opponent's got. Get in with everything. Oh my god. Settle the wreckage. Well, that does mean we get to double Gonti, which is something. We could get our opponent's counter spells. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Watch it. Let's hit two approach of the second, suds. <laughs> come on. Come on. No, we didn't win the last match. It was super close. Approach? Well, I guess sensor. 
And number two, on his eagles. Well, it's got to be cast out, I think, to get rid of this sarcophagus. Play Ether Hub. Pass the turn. Oh, you're right. We couldn't actually win with approach. Good call, good call. Would be sweet, though. We didn't find it anyway. Opponent. Passing. One, two, three, four. Well, let's get in with our Gonti. And I think we just play a second Gonti? Yeah, play a second Gonti. They got it cast out at some point. Cast out. All right, there it is. There's it. Yep, gets our Panharmonicon. We could get it back. I wonder if it's worth... Uh, it can't be. We could cast out the cast out to double Gonti again. But then our opponent still got this abandoned sarcophagus. Actually, maybe it's worth it. Uh, yeah, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do it. This is probably wrong, but it's fun. <laughs> cast out our opponent's cast out with their own cast out. Get rid of the cast out to get back our better body god. Gandhi coming down. Getting some triggers. We really need like hard counters to stop approach. Well, I guess illumination better than nothing. Number two. Ooh. Pull from tomorrow? Alright, let's pull from tomorrow. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man bonus cycles i still think we're just gonna lose to that approach though unfortunately they're probably playing like one approach we'll see i mean we can cast a huge pull from tomorrow if they tap out goblin master died 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 welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big scoops here for our new subscriber going well heisenberg how are you all right, opponent approaches back up to 20. Scavenger Grounds is good. Well, play Scavenger Grounds. They can't be playing that many approaches. We're just going to full out pull from tomorrow while they're tapped out. X, 8. That's, uh, that's a bit of action. That is a bit of action. Discard... What do we even discard? I guess just Harness Lightning. Get in with Gonti. Can we find a way to win before... Before our opponent approaches again? <laughs> Is there any chance? Opponent plays a lad. We have sideboard stuff for this matchup. Opponents passing. So many options. So many options. Chimberto, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. What do we do with this? TH3S1BH for the fifth month in a row with this up train. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Hostage Shaker and Ganti does sound like a reasonable plan. How much can we do in this turn? We probably got to bait out counters is a problem. Our freebooters are all exiled. Uh, 
All right, let's let's start with Scarab God. Make him have a counter. Oh man, no counter. No counter. All right, get in with our Gonti. We have a plan, boys and girls. We have a plan. Hit our opponent. We just got to find a window where they can't cast out in response. So pass the turn. Cycles. Cycles. Wait, do we get it now? Does this hit it? Oh no, Visigur is the, the band. Or is it one card short? It should hit now, right? They drew for their turn, cycled twice. Well, we don't want to let them cycle into it. All right, so now we Scarab God. Get back, Gonti. Pony has cast out, sure. But we get rid of the approach. Unless they are actually have a bunch of approaches, then they probably got us anyway. Okay, cast out the cast out. Cast out the Panharmonicon. We get back our Gonti. Keep the big Gonti. Take approach. And pass the turn. Hopefully they don't have a second one. Land. Uh, oh, Fumigate. Okay. Fumigate's fine. Fumigate is not what we were worried about. We can deal with Fumigate. The bigger concern is just getting approached. But they might just be playing one. Curator of Mysteries. Well, we might as well cast in this sensor. Opponent passes. Scarab God coming back. Harness Lightning will play the land. We can't actually win with approach, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. So I think what we want to do is hostage taker. Well, how do we want to do this? We can't quite go infinite here. We can just Scarab God Ganti again? We can't go infinite. We don't have enough enough to go infinite. Each Thopter would be making two energy. We can steal Sarcophagus. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Actually, I think the play... One, two, three, four, five. So I think what we want to do is play Scarab God. Scarab God back, Arganti. Get back, Gonti. Take, I guess, Fumigate. And now we'll just cash in Scavenger Grounds. And hope that our opponent does not approach us. Come on, no approach. No approach. Or oh, frames dropping? Ooh, I don't. I'm not sure. Hopefully, that's not an issue. Hey, have a good night, Looney. Drake Haven. Okay. Yeah, we've been digging like crazy for hard counters, but not having much luck. 
Man, if our opponent doesn't have approach, life is pretty good. And now we get sideboard cards, and I think we can win one out of two sideboard games against this deck. Alright, well I'm glad it's not dropping frames. That would be not ideal. So, are y'all? what do y'all think of Unstable? Now that we're almost to the end of spoilers. Spoilers end on... Spoilers end on tomorrow, actually. So, what do you think of Unstable? Are you going to go to a pre-release for Unstable? What's your favorite card from Unstable? Yeah, I think we've ran into two decks that are very similar to Deck Tech decks. Hey, thank you for the cheer, Sando. It does look pretty fun to draft. I will definitely say that. Alright, Scarab God, Scry Drain. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, all right, all right, all right, we're doing it. Go attacking. We're going, we're going, we're going. I mean, we're still dead to approach. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. But in theory, we, if our opponent has nothing, we can go infinite. Opponent settles our wreckage. Alright. We get a land. Well, that improves our odds of going infinite. So, one, two, three, four. Panharmonicon. One, two, module. One, two, three. Whirler Virtuoso. Getting some triggers. Oh, I'm going to be so sad if our opponent draws... If our opponent draws approach and we lose, I'm going to be so sad. We got to set up. We got it. Come on. Tell me you didn't approach. Opponent's passing. Oh, it is it is infinity time. We're going infinite, boys and girls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Three mana. Cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna make a Drake. Oh, oh no. They still have enough mana if they cycle into it. They don't realize they're dead. <laughs> they don't realize. They don't realize. Oh, tell me there's no approach. Drake, yup. Life gauge, sure. No. Okay, Cycles Hollow One. Sure, we got there. We did it. We did it. Well, I guess, it, man, if they have Settle Three, I guess that would do it too. But that doesn't even beat us, that just keeps our opponent alive. I don't know why they would fumigate now. Renewed faith. We got there. We definitely got there. <laughs> Infinite thopters. Yeah, Photo gets their hollow one. That's a sweet little synergy. Very nice. Well, we have a, a sweeter synergy. Thopter. Let's make a thopter. You know what? Let's make a thopter. More thopters? How about some thopters? <laughs> We're going to do this to you die, opponent. That's the plan. That is the plan. Oh, the deck works. The Thopters. And the combo's not slow unless we have uh, our Kingpin on the battlefield. Then it's incredibly slow. Otherwise, it actually goes pretty fast for an infinite combo on Moto. We won't tag with Vir uh, Whirler, but I think we just win anyway. They only have one mana up, so they can't settle or anything. So we should be good. Well, we're doing this on our opponent's end step, so we just untap and swing. We just got to make sure we make plenty of Thopters, like overkill amount of Thopters. So we have 30, they have two blockers. I guess we'll go like 35 should be enough. Opponent's uh, not scooping. Watch them have an answer. I don't think there is an answer. All right, 36 Thopters. Untap. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Go attacking. And I mean, this should work. 
not you, Whirler Virtuoso. 36 Lobster Beats? <laughs> yeah, we could have guessed the world's biggest heart is lightning, too. Wow, we got there. I cannot believe we won that game. Wow, that was pretty sweet. I thought we were going to be in so much trouble. But now we get Lost Legacies, which seem really good. We get Negates seem really good. We get Duresses seem really good. That's oh, Infinite Thopters. This deck is fun. I mean, I wish we won our last round, but it's working, and it's super sweet. Professor, Professor PhD, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, we definitely thop, 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 thop them. Thop them good. Uh, bring in that stuff. Is there anything else? A braid is kind of okay because it kills sarcophagus. I don't know if we want to fight their creatures. That seems silly. Maybe just like this. Yeah, Lost Legacy seems like it's our secret sauce in this matchup. I think we can just fight through their creatures. Yeah, go down basically all of our removal, I think. We have two Abrades right now. I don't know if we can fit the third one in somehow. Maybe? Right now we're one and one, but up a game in this match. And man, we probably should have won round two. I think that one was on me. I think we, uh... I think we should have won that. I think there was a bit of misplaying. As much as I hate to admit it. Oh boy. Well, this is the anti-control hand. <laughs> negate, negate, and lost legacy. Yeah, I guess we could have taken out a kingpin for the other abrade. The scrying is somewhat relevant on kingpin. Planes for our opponent. Well, play Ether Hub. And, yeah, let's just... Well, let's not play into a sensor. Let's just pass. Well, actually, you know what? Let's play a Kingpin. If our opponent wants to counter a Kingpin, that's fine. We did spend our only energy for this, which... Maybe is a bit greedy, but we'll see. Tonos! How's it going tonight? Good to see ya. Always curious when it is... When is the next viewer submitted Commander Clash and where do I submit decks? Uh, I don't think we have one scheduled yet because there's a bunch of stuff coming up as far as Commander Clash is concerned. Um couple of commander 2017 episodes and a super special episode that i can't uh can't tell you what it is yet but we have to wait for those to finish so i figure it'll probably be around the holidays maybe after the holidays that we'll actually have another viewer submitted week we will definitely have one though man ether hub central well getting with kingpin I don't want a Lost Legacy yet. Play Ether Hub. I think I'd rather wait and leave up our negates and Lost Legacy with negate back up. Play a module. Not going to fight over it if our opponent wants to counter it. What are the odds of a Raider's Wake deck? Uh, ooh. Yeah, we'll keep Champion. Champion's pretty spectacular here. Also lets us leave up negate. Cycles a curator. Um, I think we could do a Raider's Wake budget magic deck eventually. It won't be next week, but it's definitely something that I would like to try. I think it sounds really fun. Um, next week we're going to Modern for a deck that does some cool stuff. Plays some cool cards, does some cool things. Um, alright, get in with our Kingpin. Yeah, this is actually the blue-white cycling deck, although Approach is in the deck. Play Field of Ruin. Do we even want a champion? We could not. Yeah, let's just pass and leave up our negates. 
I would like our opponent to tap some mana on their turn, and then we can start playing things. This also lets us module our kingpin if we want to. We need to play some Blood Moon at some point soon as well. We haven't played enough Blood Moon lately. Should Modern Elf slot in the Vizier Druid combo? Ah, I am far from a Modern Elves expert, but it does seem like an easy an easy thing to slot in. All right. Negate you. Okay. Opponent passes. Oh, we get in a braid. Well, get in with Counterband Kingpin. And I guess, do we just do it? Hey, see ya, Oga. Actually, let's just champion of wits. Get some energy, go looting. Discard champion and discard. I think we can discard a whirler for now. Doesn't do a whole lot. We'll discard Whirler. Pass the turn. Our, our clock is increasing. We now have a champion of wits joining the kingpin. I'm slotting four druid and one vizier into my green devotion deck. Yeah, it's just such an easy combo to slot in essentially anywhere. I was hoping we'd hit a land there, but opponent passing. Well, we're just whirling all the time. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Uh. Hey, thank you, Atlas. I'm glad you uh, enjoy it. Do you think stuff surrounding loot boxes in Battlefront will affect the business module for a uh, model of Arena or MTG in general? Um, I'm actually not super up on what's going on with the loot boxes in Battlefront. So I think I would have to research it a bit before saying much of anything. Well, we're definitely countering this. Not gonna let our opponent draw five. That seems less than wise. What's up, Killjerb? Cycles Hollow one main phase. I wouldn't mind our opponent tapping out for an approach and then us following it up by Lost Legacying. Hit our opponent. And let's yeah, let's Gonti. But we have to tap for black mana. Cast Gonti. See if our opponent has an answer. Cycles. Okay. Gonti is a super fun card. Steal one of our opponent's cards. Come on, something good. Something good. <laughs> Essence Scatter or Hollow One? Neither of those seem relevant. I guess Essence Scatter is slightly more relevant. Play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. Hey, thank you, Growing Solo. Pona Cycles. I think we only missed up once. I hope. Pona Cycles. Our clock is speeding up. There's the approach. Well, hopefully they don't have a negate to go with it. Or we draw a duress or something. Uh, Polyball, I think there is a message on the site for the next couple days about net neutrality. Recycle Toad, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops Tier 4 art new subscriber. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. And we gotta go for it. If they got a negate, they got a negate. We can't 
we can't not do it. Lost Legacy, you? Who? Approach of the Second Son is being named. They do only have one copy. We get a peek at their deck. They have double Settle the Wreckage in hand. In their deck, Abandoned Sarcophagus, Drake Havens, Hollow Ones. Those are their really big plays. So get rid of the Approach. Approach, no longer a concern. Play Spire Bluff. And uh, yeah, we'll pass the turn. We will pass the turn. Yeah, Death Touch is surprisingly relevant right now. Opponent passes. Oh, Scavenger Ground's a good draw. Well, let's go attacking. Hit our opponent for a bundle. Opponent settles. We get a bunch of lands. That's fine. Now we get back Champion Awits. Draws up guards. Gives some energy. Yeah, we gotta make sure we don't time out. That is very true. More champions? That would be sweet. Ooh, more lost legacies. Well, I think we discard hmm. Discard a whirler and discard. Let's discard Spire Bluff. Play Scavenger Grounds. Pass the turn. I think if we name... If we can Lost Legacy Drakehaven, our opponent will have very minimal actual win conditions. Cycles. Do you think Rivals of Ixalan cards will change the energy-dominated meta? Uh, Alright, let's, let's do this. Lost Legacy... You name Drake Haven. As in scatter, also in hand. Get rid of Drake Haven. So opponents' last win conditions are two hollow ones and three sarcophaguses, which can get back some of the stuff in their graveyard. Alright. Well, let's get in with our champion wits. I feel like we're in really good shape. I hope that it will be able to change the meta. That is my hope. Do I think that it will be able to? I'm going to go with no. My my gut is rivals will not change the meta enough and that we might actually be to the banning or get to the point where we're talking about banning stuff. But my hope is certainly that that's what happens. Well, let's negate. We're pretty close to just winning here, actually. Ooh, another Whirler. Man, we are kind of dominating. Get in with our Champion Wits. Opponent uses their last settle. Yup. Play Whirler. Opponent counters. That's fine. Play Whirler number two. Resolves. Gives up energy, and uh, do we have lethal next turn? I don't think we quite have lethal. We're one module short from going actual infinite. How would energy do versus call blade? That's a good question, actually. An interesting question. I think a tune would be the card I would first look towards banning. Uh, really? Alright, that's fine. We just scavenger grounds. The scavenger grounds has been key. The deck has been awesome so far, Delusional Kraut. It's been it's been really fun. The one game we lost, we probably should have won. And I think we just win here, maybe. Yeah, it looks like lethal to me. And opponent scoops it up. Up to two and one. The kids might actually be eating tonight after all. The deck has been solid. I feel like we should be 3-0 right now, but it's been working. Band Cub is an interesting idea. That is interesting. 
Uh, I still think I would rather see um, a tune banned if we we're going to ban something. Panharmonicon is on the short list of my favorite cards and uh, not ever. I don't know if it's number one, but it is definitely on the list. It's probably my favorite card in standard right now. Decoction module has been sweet. This deck has been, I've been impressed with it. I've been pretty happy with it. And these are the first ever games I played with it. I built it this afternoon specifically for the stream because I felt like we hadn't uh, Panharmonicon enough, so. On to round four. So we got to win one more to get a chest. If we can win two more, then the kids are uh, really eating tonight. We still got to get... We still got to get a full set, a complete set in a chest. Oh, man. So, Richard Richard sent me a message the other day. Some of you were probably around when we opened when we opened uh, 200 chests and didn't get much of anything. Uh, but apparently, Richard had a friend, got eight chests from playing League, got a complete set. Of course. We are so unlucky. Oh, no. Dream fading. I guess we're going five. All right. Scarab God Panharmonicon. You can do it all by yourselves. Yeah, I think Blood Moon is my all-time favorite card. Am I the only one who produces content for Goldfish? So, I am, right now, I'm the only person... I'm the content manager, and I'm the only person that really does YouTube stuff. Except for Commander Clash. Commander Clash is... Oh, no, again? What is everyone approaching? How does... How is approach like 2% of the meta, but like 50% of our league matches? I will never understand. And then there's some other people that write vintage, uh, vintage series, legacy article series, stuff like that. Well, freebooter's reasonable. Let's run it out there, see what happens. And opponent with the sensor. Is this the same person? Are we playing the same person? Approach is like kind of cheap, but it's not. I don't think it's absurdly cheap. Not like a the pummeler decks or something that are way. Oh, huh. Esper approach. Esper control. Action, please. Well, Champion of Wits answers the call. Play a land, and we will try to champion. Probably gets countered. Yeah, I think it's went up in price a little bit as it's gained popularity. Opponent. Supreme Will. Uh, if we had a seven-card hand, I wouldn't feel too bad about where we're at. But with a with this hand, I'm feeling pretty bad. Opponent makes her land drop and passes. Land? All right, well, let's run out our Panharmonicon. You got a counter for us? Uh, come on, let's resolve something. Do I know the other goldfish writers personally? I do not. Everyone at Goldfish is kind of very much scattered around the country and the world. I think uh, the Legacy Writers in Australia, I believe. Opponent Ops. Tomer's in Canada. I'm in New York. Chaz is in Florida. Richard is in California. So, no, I don't actually know them personally. But me and Tomer are friends. I'm sure someday we will all meet up at a GP or something. Opponent passes. Well, I guess we run out this kingpin. It doesn't do much yet. Probably still just going to get approached into oblivion, but... Do I think they accidentally spoiled the black dinosaur? Is it very good against energy? Oh, don't you think they accidentally spoiled the black dinosaur? It's hard to say. Probably the most likely thing is wizards. Someone made a mistake and messed up. That's probably the most likely thing. 
Although the tinfoil hat theory would be lots of energy in the top eight of the GP and Wizards release some cards early to take the focus off of it. I mean, very much a tinfoil hat idea, but you never know. Is the dinosaur good against energy? I think it's I think it's a good card in general. And it seems fine against energy. I don't think it's a card like Solemnity versus versus energy or something where you see it and you're like, "Wow, that is built to be energy." It's not like that. But it's probably fine against energy. Well, I come to GP San Sao Paulo in 2018. Uh, probably unlikely. I don't really make it to US GPs very often. So making it to Brazil is probably even less likely. It would be sweet, though. Are we about to get approached? We are. So, Gonti here would be insane. That would be such a sweet draw. Oh my god, it's a Gonti. <laughs> we could still just be dead to what's in our opponent's hand, but it's a Gonti. Just what we asked for. Triple Gonti triggers. We will take a sensor. Gonti trigger number two. We will get rid of that approach of the second son. Gonti trigger number three. It's a disallow. So, we actually have a hard counter up. We have a hard counter up if our... No. 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 Uh, uh, Blue-white approach again. Boo. They just had two in hand. All right. All right. You got them all in hand. Well, bring in our Lost Legacies. Bring in Duress. Bring in our Negates. I feel like this is a matchup that just gets a lot better after sideboarding. Get rid of our bad removal spells. Uh, do we not have enough? Maybe we need another sideboard card for this deck. We're kind of a little bit short of cards to bring in against this deck. Huh. Okay. So what are our last two sideboard cards? Gonti actually takes the card, so we actually get them. Eh, River's Rebuke is good against tokens in specific, but... Uh, it can come in in other matchups as like a weird wrath effect sometimes. Richard is the owner and founder of MTG Goldfish. I don't think we want a River Rebuke in this matchup. Huh. I feel like, yeah, we might need, might need another card or two in the sideboard for... I mean, the thing is, we probably don't have enough cards in the sideboard for this matchup, but... You don't expect to run into it that much. I feel like we run into this matchup more than more than I would expect to for some reason. Yeah, the the last deck was a little bit different. It was still had the approach kill. Maybe we were just overly scared of approach because we saw it in our opponent's hand early. I think we'll just use harness lightning. I think that gets rid of all that stuff. We'll play first. And, all right, we'll try this. We're going to need another land, but with a land, this hand is pretty sweet. Let's well, Vetted Pools. We even have our Lost Legacy if we can sneak it in and get rid of the approaches. Man, this matchup, it feels like this matchup is easy if we get rid of the approaches. That's what we're looking for. Opponent plays Fetid Pools. Land? It's a land. Well, get down our Drown Catacombs and start chipping in with Counterbag Kingpin. Hey, you're welcome, Silk hat i'm glad uh i'm glad you're playing it's really fun opponent passes well let's get in with counterband kingpin hit our opponent oh all right the time has come that oh, our opponent the greediest of greed they better not have spell pierce lost legacy you Yes! Yes! Approach of the second son. Opponent just had to fatal push that one for. That one damage was just gonna... Was just gonna ruin everything for him. Alright, let's take a look at this deck. Three approaches. Ugh. Double fatal push glimmer scarab god in hand. Little scary. We do not have many scarab god answers. The rest of their deck... 
Uh, disallows Glimmers. Man, that one Scarab God. The one Scarab God. So we got to make sure we can find a way to deal with the one Scarab God. That is the main concern. Oh, we're going to lose to the one Scarab God, aren't we? All right. Well, we know what's up. What's their hand again? Fatal Push, Fatal Push, Glimmer, Plane, Scarab God. All right. They get a fresh card. Pass the turn. Yeah, the problem is they, if they leave up a mana when they do it, then we don't have an answer. Because they can just Fatal Push immediately. Well, let's Champion of Wits. Harness Lightning is another temporary answer. Discard Champion of Wits. Discard a Whirler Virtuoso. Play Drown Catacombs. Pass the turn. Yeah, we might leave in, like, Veraska's Contempt, now that we know what's going on. Wait, we don't even have Veraska in this deck, though. So I don't know how we could have kept it in. Could use, like, a Duras? I don't know. I don't know what we need. Uh, so, Saffron Olive, long story, but what do we get? A mountain. So, let's get in with Champion of Wits. Hit our opponent. Play the mountain. Run out Whirler Virtuoso. And pass the turn. Opponent Glimmers. Yup. So, it started as a nickname. Uh, some I moved into an apartment during college, and this old Vietnam veteran guy that lived next to me, I don't know why, but called me Saffron instead of Seth. Never said Seth, just always Saffron. And soon my friends picked up on it and started me call I started calling me Saffron as well. So that's where the Saffron part came from. And then I was in a band called Olive Drab and the Etcetras. Uh, all right, attack, attack. They're probably gonna settle us. I guess if they settle us, it's fine. If they settle us, it makes it easier to deal with the Scarab God. Opponent cycles. I still think we lose to the Scarab God. But then Olive Drab and the Etcetras is where... The Olive came from. And uh, just ended up sticking. Opponent plays the land. And passes. Eh, there's Scarab God. Well, we'll see. We can't immediately cast it. Oh man, if this works. If this works, I will be thrilled. Hostage taker. Hit your scarab god. Play scavenger grounds. Go attacking. Yes. Pass the turn. Come on, no removals. No removals. Tap land. Fumigate. All right. Yup. Well, we're still kind of okay. We get to 
Harness Lightning Scarab God. And I mean, I guess we're going to have to... Uh, uh. Man, I hate losing these two champion awards. It's so brutal. I'm confused by what you're saying. Uh, I don't want to lose these two champion awards, but I don't think we have a choice. King Doc with a $3 donation. Happy Thanksgiving, Seth. Thanks for all you do. Here's a couple of bucks for after dinner roll aids. Well, King's Doc, or King Doc, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate the donation, and I'm looking forward to uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Grounds does work. Blue, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, we gotta do it. I hate losing our champion of wits, but it is what it is. Pass the turn. We didn't have a time to do it last turn, did we? Opponent plays a land. Without Scarab God, all we're really worried about is Torrentials. Play a land, pass the turn. Although we have literally nothing going on right now. Opponent passes. Play a land, pass the turn. They only have one Scarab God, but they have three Torrential Gear Hulks. And we don't have any action at the moment. Alright, pass the turn. Oh, the lands. The flood of lands. I'm expecting our opponent to just run out of Torrential here. Or cycle farmland. But we had to get rid of the god. It really hurt to do that. Because those two champion of wits, man, that would have went a long way for us. Opponents discarding the hand size. They are overloaded with action. Oh, boy. I think that's four lands in a row. MTG Dog, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Opponent found a glimmer. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, it's not a control mirror, though. It's a mid-range deck against... <laughs> a flooding out mid-range deck against a control deck. Opponent discards the hand size. Yep. All right, we will duress you. I mean, Torrential Glimmer is going to be very hard for us to come back from that. We've just drawn way too many non-cards in a row. <sighs> Solemnity is just not... Not quite good enough to actually deal with energy, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess it's true. It is a combo deck. Mid-range combo. Let's go with that. Cycles a cast out. Oh, they do have Torrential in hand. Yeah, I think that's just... I think that's just... Definitely game over. Pass the turn. Well, they're not casting it yet. Plays a tap land. Oh, deck. Well, we woke up on the wrong side of variance this match, unfortunately. Uh, this is game two, so we just lose the match when we lose to this torrential. What's up, Butt Pounder? How goes it tonight? 
There's the torrential. Opponent draws some more cards. Yeah, we got rid of the Scarab God, and our draw was land, 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 duress, land, land, land. <laughs> Which is just, that's not going to get it done. But that's how magic works. That's why to 5 0, you got to be, you got to play well, but you also have to get a bit lucky. All right. Play a land. Pass the turn. Opponent's got search for his Conta value going. Gets in with Torrential. We draw. <laughs> Lost Legacy. Yeah, we're drawing our sideboard cards at the wrong time. Play Dragon's Call Summit. Pass the turn. Search for his kata. I, I think we're just literally dead. Um, we know they have at least one disallow in hand. So even if we did happen to draw something that mattered, it's going to get countered. Opponent discards to hand size. Scarab God's a good magic card, and it doesn't... We'll cast it, I guess. It would just be chump blocking, though. Sepranol, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. And, yep. All right. Well, Moto did not comply with our wishes on that one. Oh, boy. That was brutal. All right, well, one round to go. We got to win this one to end up with a with a treasure chest. Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of playing it out. We were dead there. I would have liked to... Normally, I would have just conceded, but I was trying not to concede early so I wouldn't get yelled at. <laughs> but even if we resolve Scarab God, it's just chump blocking, so there's just no... We were dead, is what I'm trying to say. But I didn't want to get yelled at for scooping. All right, so this is it. We got a win here. We got a win here. All right, this is a reasonable hand. All right, let's get this win. Get our treasure chest. Open and complete set. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. This hand looks pretty good. Definitely not, definitely not flooding out. I watched the first season of Stranger Things. Have not seen the second season of Stranger Things. This deck is looking to make infinite Thopters with Panharmonicon and Whirler Virtuoso. Oh, boy. All right, Ramen on Bread. Well, we got our Counterband Kingpin. Play Spire Bluff. This hand actually could be pretty good against Ramen on Bread. Pass the turn. Counterband Kingpin's good. Whirler Virtuoso's good. We don't have a way to kill a Hazaret. Otherwise, second season's even better. Well, I will have to get on watching that then. Opponent. You can open complete sets in the treasure chests now that you get for winning. Opponent. Harsh Mentor. Well, I think we're just going to swamp and get down Counterman Kingpin. Pass the dirt. 1-4 is actually a hard thing for our opponent to deal with. They have to, like, attack with a creature and then use a lightning strike. Alright, opponent casts a braid. Sure. Well, we're not gonna... Oh. Darn you, Soul Scar Mage. Well, I guess we just cash this in with the chump block. Opponent did not get a land, though. So let's play Fetid Pools and pass the turn Harness Lightning. I think... Uh, we'll see. There's a Bonded Courier. Opponent... Attacks, attacks, attacks. 
I think we gotta kill Soul Scar Mage to stop from getting our stuff eaten by the Wither effect. What's up, Marrow Wake City? How goes it? All right, down to fourteen. And oh my god, another Soul Scar Mage. Hmm. What do we do? <laughs> Are you mad about me saying counterband kingpin? Contraband kingpin, counterband kingpin. Yes, I know it's Bomat Courier. I know. I do know that. Uh, I've never played WoW. What's a budget deck you could play in Legacy? Burn is probably... Probably the way to go. Yeah, I guess we can do it this way. Uh, if they have one of their can't block creatures, it's so bad. But we could find a fatal push would be ideal. Two lands. Hmm. Well, I guess we got to discard Scarab God and Spire Bluff. And pass the turn. We know our opponent's got three action cards in hand, because they haven't been making land drops. And it's a lightning strike. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Opponent. Gets in. I think Contraband's actually very good in this matchup. So let's play Drown Catacombs. Play Hostage Taker. Take the Courier. Cast the Courier. And pass the turn. Ugh, there's land number three. Land number three is a bad number for us. There's Ferocidon for our opponent. Well, let's freeboot. Take some damage. Oh my god. Their hand is three Ferocidons? What kind of draw is this? Okay. Pass the turn. Well, this seems pretty rough. <laughs> the combination of a million Ferocidons and Harsh Mentor means it's going to be difficult for us to... And there's an Earthshaker Kenra off the top. Going to be hard for us to make any Thopters. Opponent takes one. Yeah, we are super dead. Super, super dead. Jeez. Tags with everything. Yeah, you got us for a million. Sure. $3 donation from King Doc. Let me pull this up here. Jeez, what a what a craziness. Yep. Down to two. Play drown catacobs. Play 
get back our champion. Drop to one. Drawn discard. We need removal. All right, there's removal. We did find removal from King Doc. $3 donation. Slimney and Honor Guard combined wreck energy. Then you play creatures that should enter with naked one counters like Ammon Eternal and the Black is uh the best in black white removal easy to sideboard against control and red i've been working on it for a few weeks that sounds like a really sweet idea it sounds super fun i would be interested in trying it you'll have to send me your list because it sounds interesting i would be curious to see if it actually does beat energy consistently i actually really hate i actually really hate olives all right, what's a reasonable path to winning? Discard Panharmonicon. Discard Spire Bluff Canal. Block, block. All right, pass the turn. We're dead to everything, but we can't not be dead to everything here. There's no... Oh, my God. Ah! Well, shock is part of everything. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Ah, that was fun. Well, bring in a braids, bring in Veraska's contempts, bring in the essence extraction. Yeah, it was just frustrating because we were actually really close to stabilizing and cause when we saw our opponent's hand and their draws were allowed them to get in a ton of damage. Yeah, it is a little less frustrating than gut shot. That is true. So against this deck, go down a Gonti. Go down it might actually be right to cut a couple Panharmonicons and minimize the expensive cards that do nothing. It's hard to imagine a time when we're going to be able to tap out very easily for a Panharmonicon. What else do we go down? We got all of our early removal. Got Scarab Gods. Got the modules. Got early game blockers. Maybe it's just another Gonti. Oh man, Red Shoal should never should never be banned. Or should never be unbanned. That card is ridiculous. I think we're just gonna try it like that. Uh the guy over there, I got a ton of deck list emails to look at, so I probably haven't seen it yet. But I will uh send you a quick note once I look it over. Well, we'll play first. And, all right, we got our Kingpin. We got Harness Lightning. This seems like it could maybe work. Dragon Skull Summit, go. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a new Panharmonicon or something to fill that role once it rotates. Let's get down our Kingpin. Super good blocker. Pass the turn. Our Whirler is worth it in this match. The things that probably aren't worth it are actually our combo pieces, like the modules and whatnot. Those are probably the cards that are less likely to be worth it. The Whirlers themselves are actually really good. Oh, man. Smokestack would be... That would be my new Panharmonicon if they actually printed that in standard. Probably not likely, but woo, that, would be, that would be sweet. I think it would be pretty frustrating for people. How broken it would be, I guess, is kind of up in the air. Get rid of Module. Get rid of a Scarab God. Was kind of hoping we were going to hit a land there, but... Um... Yeah, we'll pass. I'm not going to chip in for one. Potamonic God. Bonet. Sun Scorched Desert. Pings us. Yep. And there's a Ferocidon. Opponent passes. Well, let's pass the turn. We are going to need to draw a black mana deck. That is that is on our list. That is on the list of things we must draw. Scavenger Grouts. Opponent. Soul Scar Mage. Annoying. 
Takes a damage. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, let's block here. And, man, if we draw a black source. Harness lightning, that thing. Yep, frozen on down. Come on, black mana! What do you think of the Planeswalker Urza from Unstable? What do you think the ability will do? Oh my goodness. Record-setting number of Frosidons. Well, there's tapped black mana. Which means we gotta play Whirler Virtuoso, unfortunately. Take a damage. Play Drown Catacombs. Pass the turn. So we next turn we can start killing stuff, hopefully. So, Planeswalker Urza, I'm confused by that card. I thought it was literally a card where opponents got a removal spell. Well, let's make a Thopter take a damage. I thought it was literally a card. Ooh, Hostage Taker. I think it's got to go bottom. I think it's got to go bottom. We just need lands. I thought it was a card where you would actually, every time you used it, go to their website and click a button and get a random ability. But maybe that is not at all how it actually works. Oh, Ramen Ump Red. How I hate you. Unstable is not coming to Magic Online. That much we know for sure. Opponent with a big attack. Well, kill the Earthshaker, Kenra. Take five. Opponent passes. Play the Mountain. Uh, I think we just got to pass the turn. Kill stuff. Oh, this is going to be close. Opponent has a land. The Bomb at Courier. Do they have Hazaret to go with it? That's question number three. They do. There's Hazaret. Opponent takes a damage. Goes attacking. Uh, Flume to Splume for the six months in a row. Welcome back to the fishbowl. So glad to have discovered goldfish, started watching. Against odds and now try to view pretty much everything. Keep up the amazing work. Well, keep up the subscriptions. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. We need you, Ten, Jen, Tom, and Richard to meet up and play Unstable Sealed. That would be interesting. Well... I mean, I guess what we have to do here is Faraska's Contempt, but we don't gain life because uh, our opponent is the master of drawing Ferocidons. And now we will pass the turn. Opponent. Oh, <laughs> Sure. Yeah, that's that is a realistic way for that to end. All right. <sighs> hmm. Um, are we just literally dead? Yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we are. I guess we'll play it out, but Man, this has been a frustrating league, I will say. So we're going to end up 2-3. and three. There was match 2, we probably should have won. That was my fault. But, man, we were on the wrong end, end of variance in this one. We were super stable. Even if our opponent drew a random dork, we were stable. But, all goes for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think even if we rip Contempt, I don't think it's going to be enough here. We get rid of Hazaret, and our opponent will just draw another one anyway. Play an Island. 
play Whirler Virtuoso. And uh, we'll pass. Hour of Glory is just like bad Vraska's Contempt. <laughs> it wouldn't have even done anything there. if I don't know why they didn't make Hour of Glory like Deicide. Deicide, that was actually reasonable. Kill a god. If you kill the god, you get to exile all of that god from the library. That was a, a reasonable answer to gods. Our um, on the other hand... Hour of Glory is just horrible because you ha have to literally have the god in your hand. And a lot of times gods are played as like two ofs. I know Hazred's played as a four of, but it's very common to see smaller numbers of gods. So it just doesn't do anything. Opponent draws a new hand. Yep. Down to four. Yeah, we've been dead for a couple turns now since they drew that Hazaret. I mean, we'll run Hostage Taker out there. But it's just that top deck got us. Sure, Hostage Taker, whatever. Has a, if our opponent discards, we're just literally dead. Yep. Discards a Soul Scar Mage, and we're dead to their card in the graveyard. But we will scoop. We'll run it. We'll we'll make our opponent remember their card in the graveyard. Pass the turn. Opponent, Ramen on Bruins. Uh, that does it as well, and we'll scoop it up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, uh, we end with a 2 3. And, yeah. Well, I think the deck is super sweet. We went infinite several times. I think that the. Uh, I think that the. The competitiveness of the deck is better than it showed there. I think we lost round two thanks to not scrying that one time, which that was. That was a really close match, and I think if we scryed, we would have won. And then Ramen on Pred, there's just not much you can do about that. We had the answers, but our opponent just had more top decks than we had answers. That second Hazaret was brutal, but I think it's really cool. It obviously plays some um, a lot of do nothing cards, which is a little bit, a little bit of a problem occasionally. It, maybe it's right to sideboard out some of those cards more often, but. I think it's really fun if you're looking for a way to go infinite in standard. That's uh that's a pretty way of a pretty good way of going about it. So uh yeah, so we finish with a 2-3, but the deck is sweet. It does really cool things. I think there's some stuff that could be worked on like is counterband kingpin uh necessary? I don't know about glintness crane in this one. It's maybe there's not very many artifacts. I like Litness Crane in Panharmonicon decks, but I don't know if I like it in this Panharmonicon deck. I almost think that I almost think that uh, Counterband Kingpin is better in this deck since it works well with Whirler Virtuoso, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. So yeah, we end with a two, uh, slightly disappointing two three, but the deck does uh, some super sweet things. Oh man, Momir. Well, if we're going to Momir, we got to jump right into it because we're we're right on the borderline of Momir. So let's pull it up. See who's on the list. If we have someone who can who wants to jump in uh, and we get right into the game soon, then we'll go for it. Apes of Wrath at the top of the list. I am the evil one. Dragon Vulture, Mage Knight, Stony Baloney, Trunkin' Duncan, Brewski, Dark Puka, Scorch Skid and Zach Myers. Yeah, we probably should do Momir, a quick game of Momir for uh, before the Thanksgiving holiday. A quick reminder to everyone before they before uh, before they leave. No stream on Thursday. Thursday Thanksgiving. No stream going on. So uh, so keep that in mind. Regret. 
$5 donation from Killagerm. Thank you so much, Killagerm. Says, tough break in standard. Play modern instead. Starting with blue black processors. Ooh. Blue black processors. That is a spicy sounding deck name. Let me uh, let me pull up this list. Thank you so much for the donation, Killagerm. Definitely appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, why is it not pulling up? Hang on, hang on. So, anyone on the Momir list down for playing Momir? Actually, Killager, will you post it in the will you post it in the chat? It's not very easy. There's no link to actually copy and paste there uh, in the Streamlab thing. This is Apes of This isn't Apes of Wrath, is it? Regret ninety four. Let me see, Killager. Momir list. Apes of Wrath is Flingum. This is not Flingum. This is Regret 94. Oh, Regret 94 is Zach Myers, number 10 on the list. Oh, Apes of Wrath. All right. Sorry, Apes of Wrath. For some reason, I was thinking that might be you. I thought that that's what uh, was being said. So let me see this, uh, this processor list. Blue Black Processors. Sorry, Regret 194. Uh, Apes of Wrath, top of the list, top of the list is coming in. So, yeah, Apes of Wrath's turn tonight. Blue Black Processors looks pretty sweet. It uh, looks fun. I remember playing Blight Herder in Standard, and it was super fun. I almost feel like you need some bigger payoff if you're playing Blight Herder, like, for the mana that you make from it. But I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's not necessary. I guess just being a four or five and making uh, the one ones. That's still a lot of value for the mana cost, even if you're not really spending the mana on anything crazy. That does look pretty fun. Kind of reminds me of uh, old school Eldrazi decks a little bit with the main deck relic of progenitises and whatnot. Uh, let's uh, let me pull up the Momir lay while we are. Uh, Getting ready for our Momir game. Our Thanksgiving Momir game to wrap things up for our short streaming week. Momir Lay achieved. New Unstable Spoiler? What do we got? Oddly Uneven. 5 mana. Destroy each creature with an odd number of words in its name. Or destroy each creature with an even number of words in its name. Ah, that seems... Eh. I mean, I guess it's flavorful. I don't know if it's... It doesn't seem especially powerful. That's such a weird restriction to have. Nah, you're good, Apes of Wrath. You're good. Just uh, send me a challenge when you get on. So, I don't know. Oddly even, I guess, is cool. There is an Against the Odds tomorrow. Hopefully, all the content will go on as normal, ideally. Uh, except for no stream on Thursday. But Against the Odds tomorrow is actually super sweet. Playing Zubera. Five-color Zubera in Modern. And going into it, I thought it was going to be really rough. But it's actually really sweet and really interesting. So, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, rough drafts on Thursday for IMA. That is the plan. Yes, Telechrome. So, hopefully the content will continue, even, uh, even on the holiday. Unclaimed Territory is a good substitute, a budget substitute for Cavern of Souls, although it does, it is significantly worse in some matchups. Like, in a lot of matchups, it's fine, but then when you run into the hardcore control deck, it's pretty... Pretty punishing. Uh, am I going home for Thanksgiving? Uh, thankfully, my family is in the general area. Most of my family is within like a couple of hours. So, yeah, I will go. Uh, I will go to my mom's house and do the turkey and relatives and that kind of stuff. But I don't have to go super far, which is kind of nice. Should uh, should be fun ish. <laughs> I don't know. Family holidays are weird. They're they're like <laughs> fun in some ways, and then uh, I, I don't know. Other ways, you got all the people that you see once a year, like twice a year at holidays. 
Uh, how's it going, Abe Zarath? Yeah, we finished with a somewhat disappointing 2 and 3. But the deck was still sweet, and I still like it. And I think I think its overall record would be better than that. I think it's fairly competitive. I was playing a Momir game the other day. Hit X2, uh, Otto Shithun, worm before I hit Emrakul. Yeah, that's... That's a little disappointing. Oh, man. So, I was playing this game. I can't tell you what it is because it's for Budget Magic next week. But we needed one specific card to win. One specific card. And we were going through our entire deck. We were getting down to our very last card in our deck. And we had, we had two copies of it in our deck. And the card we needed was the very last two copies. Both copies, the bottom two cards in our entire deck. What are the odds of that? Next week's Budget Magic is super sweet. Just as far as like fun and entertaining matches, uh, it, some, some fun stuff happens. Yeah, the kids are starving. I'll have to uh, get them some Thanksgiving leftovers or something. Modern Ape Tribal. How are we doing? Uh, let's see. Ooh, wait. That's that's owling mine. <laughs> I guess Simeon Spear Guide is in the deck, and that's an ape. That's a, that's a loose use of the term tribal, I think. If your deck has four Simeon Spear Guides and otherwise no creatures, the deck looks fun though. I tried really hard to make owling mine for budget magic one time and i just could not get it to win enough i hope that we can do it at some point because it's really fun but uh we're gonna be doing a game of momir here we're waiting another minute to see if uh apes of wrath gets his bono working if not then probably open it up to the rest of the momir list if apes of wrath doesn't make it you sure apes of wrath all right well First, first Momir challenge, I will accept. Uh, actually, if the person number... Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Number 10 on the list. Uh, the person that sent me the challenge earlier. You, you get a second chance. Zach Myers, Regret94. If you're still here and you want a shot at it, you uh, this is your chance. Yeah, that's that's Moto for you, Apes of Wrath. We'll do it one of these days. It will happen sooner or later. Sooner or later. So this is a good way for us to wrap up our short stream week. We don't we haven't played much Momir lately. If you're not familiar with Momir, super random format. Uh, basically, you get a Momir avatar at the start of the game, and it makes your life total 24. Your deck is 100% lands. Every turn, you can pay X, discard a card, put a random token that's a copy of a creature with converted mana cost of X on the battlefield. So, kind of the main strategy of this is to hope you get lucky, but also get up to 8 drops is the main plan. Did your stuff... Oh, Apes of Wrath! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I swear, Apes of Wrath, you're cursed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pony gets a Swamp Mosquito. Oh, no. When it attacks, it isn't blocked. We get a this is the original infect from way back in, like, Mirage. So, in theory, our opponent can hit us ten times with this and we die. To the Swamp Mosquito. We get... Humble Defector. Draw two cards. Target opponent gains control of Humble Defector. Well, I can get us towards an Emrakul or something. What do you think of the blue-white turns list? Ooh. Let me take a peek. Blue-white turns. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> Lab Maniac for the kill? I think it looks pretty sweet. Might consider um, Giga Rouse is a good option because you can tap down your opponent's lands. Also, what's the one that makes your opponent not untap? That's another good option. Opponent gets Cogwork Assembler. Seven. Create an artifact copy with haste until end of turn. We're going to start getting poisoned by a Swap Mosquito. Ugh. All right. 
Let's discard an island. What do you think of Simeon Spirit Guide? Turn one devote, uh, devoted and turn two Vizier for the turn two win. Skill Borrower. Oh. In a deck that is all land, Skill Borrower is pretty useless. <laughs> it's a 1 3. It's a cool card for like Commander or something. Oh, I'm so sorry, Apes of Wrath. Well, Apes of Wrath, next time we do Momir, if you're around, you are automatically at the top of the list. I mean, I think you'll be at the top of the list anyway, but if for some reason you're not, you're at the top uh, top of the list for next time. Opponent gets in with the Swamp Mosquito. Hits us. Another infect. Yep. Well, we only have eight more turns to deal with the Swamp Mosquito, or we would die the most hilariously embarrassing... Oh, man. Man, we are hitting cards that are good in other formats, but not in Momir. That is a theme. Opponent's got the Fortress Crab. Innistrad Limited All-Star. Ah. Thought not, great in modern, not in Momir. Hands are all lads. Skill borrower, great in commander, not in Momir. Decks are all lads. Humble defector, eh. This card was actually pretty hyped, but it never actually worked. Heisenberg hat for the third month in a row. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our resubscriber. Renegade Demon for our opponent. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the net neutrality thing uh, doesn't end up going away. It sounds like it would be bad for a lot of people. I mean, for me personally, I live in the middle of nowhere, so I have quite literally one internet service provider. Primal Whisper, Morph Lord, uh, gets plus two plus two for each face down creature, like Reverse Lord, I guess. And you can morph it. Uh, well, I guess we keep passing. We can still not do anything. We really are going to die to Squam Mosquito. But I live in the middle of nowhere, so I got one internet service provider, which means they can basically do whatever they want. Uh, I think they already charge, like, twice the national average or something, but... But it would be very easy if they just had free reign. Oh, man, I don't even want to know what they do. <laughs> Phonin. I've never heard heard tire it but i like it rexel the risen deep island walk and swamp walk wow we are getting wrecked ability is not that good or actually relevant at all but who uh richard is in charge of pokey goldfish you can email me saffron olive at mtggoldfish.com that's uh, the best way to do it psychologist welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big scoops here for our new subscriber Discard the mountain. All right. Well, we're no longer going to die to Swamp Mosquito. Now we're going to die to Rexel, most likely. Need to find an answer to that. His head is his shoulders. Oh. Is that... I see. The head is like... Right... Oh, I can't go to it. Eh. I think I see what you mean. That's not the head up at the top. Opponent, seven drop. Fraxian and Jester, not good in Momir because everything's tokens. So mounds and swaps are normally to avoid land walk abilities and some other weird stuff like that. But also where the best activated abilities are. Things that like activate to damage or kill creatures are usually in red and black. So that's how I usually do it. Although, oh man, Angelic Arbiter is a big flyer. That's good. Doesn't actually do anything ability-wise. Get in. I've always been curious, do I own a bird? I swear I hear it in some of the videos. Uh, I do not own a bird, but I do occasionally, it's probably a bad habit, but I do occasionally uh, have my window open, especially if it's nice out. So you probably are hearing an outdoor bird. Yeah, if you have a, you can also, you can email Richard directly, contact at mtggoldfish.com, but if you email me, I can forward it to him as well, if you'd rather do it that way. Phone it. Beats down. Favorite vape flavor. Oh, man. I don't even know. Let me see. Let me see what the name of this is. 
Uh, Nova, I guess it's called. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of different flavors when it comes to vaping. I have a. There's a, a small local vape shop that makes their own uh, their own vape juice. So I just uh, go to them. Get in, get in with our. Well, this thing's a five five. Hmm. So I guess maybe we can't attack. This is not going ideally. We gotta hit a bounce crack in. We gotta hit a bounce crack in or we're gonna die. Pass the turn or hover guard sweepers, but some way to deal with this Rexel. Platinum Imperion. Those are the those are the things we need. And we have three turns, two turns. Opponent's only making seven drops for some reason. But it's kind of working somehow. Phantom Neshoba. Trample 7-7. Seven, seven. That thing's actually pretty good. Gets smaller when it takes damage. Well, our Overseer's growing. Come on, Bounce Kraken. One time, one time. Oh. Waking Sun's Avatar. It doesn't do anything, but it's cool. <laughs> Opponent. Spearbreaker Behemoth. Yep. Makes things indestructible. Yeah, if we could have cast it from our hand, it would have been insane, but... Eh, that's not the way Momir works. Pona hits us. Well, last turn to hit something. If we don't get an answer to the Swamp Walker, we just... That does it. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, Ulamog's Crusher is sweet, but not an answer to the Swamp Walker. All right. On to game two. Eight drops are actually better at saving you than nine drops. That's one of the weird quirks of Momir. If you're behind and uh, need to catch up, you almost have to go eight drop. Nine drops, there's nothing that'll hurt you. So if you feel like you're really far ahead and want to make sure like your own board doesn't get bounced or something, then it can be correct to go up to nine. And obviously, if you can draw extra cards or something... 13, you get little Emrakul. 15, decent shot of getting big Emrakul. Grenzo Dungeon Warden. This is a sweet commander card, too. A really fun ability, being able to put a bottom card in the graveyard, and if it's a creature, you get it. Very strong. I remember playing this in, well, I guess it was Vintage Masters Rap Squire for our opponent. Uh, the original Stoneforge Mystic with uh actually we gotta skip this drop that art though man i miss the old art i say this every time we play we play momir but the one who knocks have a wonderful night the deck was still fun and that's the most important thing so have a good night have a good holiday opponent target Land becomes a 2-2 green creature. It's still a land. All right. Not the scariest ability. Well, let's make a 4-drop. Hopefully a non-Thought Nazir. Glenelendra Archmage. Well, it's a flyer. Flyers are good. Yeah, I don't know if we're really the aggressor there. Like, we get in for 2, we take 1. Yeah, maybe we should have. Is it true two years later? I think it's still true that the things that can save you, like bouncing creatures, uh, like the Kraken, Hoverguard Sweepers, Platinum Imperion, I don't think there's any of those at nine mana. So I think that that's, if you're behind and trying to catch up, I think that making an eight drop is still your best bet. Tap five wizards you control. Search target player for five cards. Come on, wizards. Oh, man. The mill and kill. Actually, I guess it would be the exile and kill. Oh, yeah. 
This thing's pretty bad. Gonna go away once it attacks your blocks. Yeah, I think a uh, six drop has some stuff, seven drop has some stuff, but I think just by, ooh, Arachto's Ragma. I think just by the numbers, your highest percentage is eight drop still. I'd have to run the numbers on the lower drops, maybe. Maybe one of the lower drops could be. Nine drops I don't think has anything that saves you still though. Although that could change. Might sliver. Or magnetic sliver. Might sliver is a four drop. Uh, okay. Well, it's a six six for six. If we randomly get another sliver. So we're looking for slivers and wizards. <laughs> if we could only have a <laughs> if we could only have a arcane adaptation. Our deck would be the nuts. Everything plus three plus three. Exiling our opponent's cards. We have two wizards right now, so we only need uh Well, I guess that doesn't kill any of our stuff. Still annoying. Alright, come on, wizards! Or slivers. Or something. Something good. Ether Squall Ancient. Oh wow. Uh, that seems, that seems like a reasonable, a reasonable card. <laughs> that should be good. The Panharmonic on deck was really fun and did some good things, but we ended up with a 2-3 as far as record is concerned. Yeah, I've never had this in Momir before, but it seems pretty insane. Oh my god. Wow, we're gonna... Oh, this is a brand new card in the treasure chest. All right. Well, we got a plan. Our plan is get enough energy to bounce everything, steal the monarchy, and then dragon our opponent to death. <laughs> it's a legit plan. It's a legit plan. Yeah, that that card seems insane in Momir. We get Vernon Force. Well, pass the turn. Does not make wizards. Or slivers. Does it say at the beginning of your upkeep if you're the monarch? Okay. Well, I think we're fine here for winning. I think just bounce. Unless they can deal with our ether squalling shit. Opponent. Alright, Avatar might. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Slumgar plus Dragon Token's pretty good. I think our Aether Squall Ancient still gets the job done, though. Because we're just going to bounce everything anyway. Opponent gets in. Opponent gets in. Sure. Starts killing our stuff. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Persist triggers. So I think we're safe to block Slumgar. Opponent draws. All right. Well, now it's Ether Squall Ancient. Oh no! We need another turn of mana. Ugh. Ugh. Symbiotic Worm. Man, it is hard to tell the energy with these. I wish they would put a number for energy like this, because when you just see a huge stack, how much energy is that? For some reason, I was thinking it's six, but it is a. Uh, it is not. I think we still live, though. We take a bunch of damage. Unless our opponent hits a crazy haste threat or something. Uh, or a Leviathan. So I think we still stabilize here. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do it like... Didn't write a number or something with the long ones. With, like, three or, or some number in that range, it's fine. But once you have just, like, this huge string of energy, Gonti's Ether Heart gets me every time, too. Uh, we did our Thopter League. We're just wrapping up tonight with a game of Momir. Opponent gets in. Yeah, we take it. I mean, I guess that part is true. It does make you know it's an energy card. All right, bounce everything. And now I think we just win, I'm pretty sure. 
or we should actually we're gonna attack first in case we get a bounce crack in make sure we get the monarchy all right steal the crown monarch is a really fun mechanic i like monarch as well let's make an eight Ooh, title force okay well things are looking good now i guess we just tap on land we're actually pretty close to just winning next turn yeah monarchy does seem pretty good in pauper opponent going for the nine drop technique by the looks <laughs> opponent 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 <laughs> oh we could untap it for him and eh, we won't <laughs> oh leviathan twice in a row is pretty unlucky Why do we not get a dragon? Oh, because that's a. Uh, never mind. Duh. Devouring Strazes. Get in there. Well, our opponent needs something pretty spectacular. Uh, we're just concluding with a game of Momir tonight. We we did our Thopter League. Wrapping up with some Momir action. It went. Ah, the record wasn't as good as I wanted. We went two and three. We lost one game, I think, to not playing well enough. And then we lost to Ramen on Pred with our opponent. Oh my goodness, top decking Hazaret. That was brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal Hazaret. Because we dealt with the first one, and then the second one just got us. Good God! Good God! No, oh, the moment. Oh! That's like the Hazaret draw! It's the Hazaret draw all over again. Six life. How many? Is this the only card in Magic that gets us there? Is that the literal only one? Six, six. <laughs> uh, that's got to be the only card in Magic. Out of all the eight drops in the entire world. Wow. Exaxes with protection from our Strassus. Wow, good game, good game, good game. Uh, Momir is a, a harsh mistress. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. You never know what will happen in Momir. That's the beauty of the format, is you just never know. Never know what will come off the top of the random pile. Oh, good Lord. Well... Momir, fun, lots of losing. Grixis, Infinite Thopter, Panharmonicon, also fun. I still want to keep messing around with that deck because I feel like it's it seems sweet. I, I still got I gotta find the perfect Panharmonicon shell. That's on my to do list. So yeah, I'm sure there was another couple creatures. That was a Chroma, right? Or the other Chroma? Anyway, everyone, I think that uh, that brings uh, brings us to the end for the night. So videos, the replay will go up tomorrow on the MTG Goldfish replay YouTube. Usually like mid-morning-ish or around noontime, East Coast time. So check out the replay YouTube if you want uh, to catch up on any of the action you missed. Normal YouTube, last day of Unstable Spoilers tomorrow, uh, Possibility Storm coming out tonight. Against the odds, five color Zubera, super spectacular. So check that one out tomorrow. Otherwise, normal stuff through the weekend. Commander Clash, hopefully a rough draft's on Thursday. Much of brew on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that because no stream on Tuesday. Of course, merch page. Got some uh, sweet stuff there to support the stream and the channel and the site. And big thanks to everyone who subscribed and who donated. Um, Killigerm, King Doc. Uh, King Doc again. Thank you so much, everyone. And for just hanging out. It's always fun. Y'all make it a blast to do these streams. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you are uh, celebrating that on Thursday. Have a great week. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday with another one. Until then, I will talk to you soon.